Hi, this is a quick overview of my comment links extension, which is available for Visual Studio. So here you can see a C++ file and it's got some comments and in the comments are some little green squares. These are buttons we can click on and it will take us to the named file. And in this instance, it will take us to the specified line number. So I'm gonna click here and it's gonna open the file and it's taken me to line 30. Not just files uh, within the same project. This is a uh, file, a file which is in a solution folder. We can see it up here. Nothing of interest. So let's move on. We can um, look for, not just open certain lines. We can also look for um, specific text. So this is going to open a file in another project within a solution, and it's going to take us to where it finds the text A3. And here it's done that, and it's moved to line 29 where that text is. Um, if we want to search for something with spaces, we could either um, percent encode it, so percent 20 like in a URL, or we can wrap it in quotes, so we can wrap the whole thing in quotes, including the file name, if the file name included spaces, or we wanted to specify a folder which had spaces in it. Um, file was already open, and now it's just jumped to the line where that specified, specified text is. We can also um, open files by specifying the exact uh, location on disk, because this is going to open a file on my desktop not very exciting and we can also open that and specify something to look for so i'm going to look for the word here in a different file open the file and it's found here here is here um, but this here is also part of a link and we can link within the same file um, so it's gonna oh it's found it another one there's another link and we've come down from 974 finally here on line 111 you see i've been using links in text files in c++ files it works in javascript it works in html it works in c sharp it works in anything it will do its best to find the file wherever it is it could be in a folder it can be in a different project um, or it could be on disk if you specify it if it can't find anything it'll put a little message down here in the status bar um, but other than that it, it should be really helpful if you have to jump between files or you work with files of different types or different languages and Visual Studio doesn't have that native ability to create links for you.